Hey guys, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel and happy the fifth day. The fifth day? Happy the last day, five days of love. I am so happy that we have reached the end of this and I get to share with you something a little bit different. Um, we're going to really actually go for it right now because on my channel, I rarely do videos where I am like going full glam and this might be one of those times that you want to just kind of go all out. Um, everybody can wear this, but again, let's just preface this with it is full, full glam and I am kind of excited to do it. So if you want to know more about that, please hit the subscribe button, join our beautiful community, join my squad, give me a thumbs up and let's do it. All right. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do is I already have my eyeshadow primer on. It's just the one from Smashbox. We are going to go in with a cream shadow first. This one is just by YSL. Pick your favorite. I am gonna do one eye first and then I'll do the other one off camera because it's gonna take a minute. Just pick one that has a little bit like of a burgundy, burnt, red color. This one is like burgundy and kind of purple all at the same time. It just goes with my eye color really well. I'm taking it on a brush, has nothing on it, and I am going to do this kind of messy because we want this to be kind of big and loud. And we're just going to bring this all the way out up on top of that brow bone because of our my eye shape is hooded and deep set. I'm going to go up on top of that brow bone, not close to, not super close to the brow, but I'm definitely bringing it up. And I'm just going to make sure that all the edges are nice and blended. And then I'm going to take one of my favorite ColourPop shadows. This is by Wake Up. This is called Wake Up Call. And it's just a very easy, taupey transition color. And I'm going to take this on top of where I laid that color on the brow bone. And all this is going to do is just gonna give a little bit of definition and transition. So it's not so like one color brow bone. And we're kind of elongating this out. That's kind of important here. Um, this look also is very easy as well, so just keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna take my Pretty Vulgar uh, eyeliner in black and I am going to get it on a uh, angled brush. This eyeliner is fantastic. It doesn't move anywhere. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line all the way. And then I'm going to squeeze my eye so it deposits all over my eye now. I can see that. Let me take that off before it sets because this um, eyeliner really does set down. Okay, so we have it all over the place. No big deal, because we're gonna put black up here, but we're just gonna blend this out a little bit. All right, and now what we're going to do is we are going to take uh, the Electro Pop palette from Kevin Aquan, and I'm gonna actually dip right into the black. This black is beautiful. It's stunning. I absolutely love it. And we're gonna use patting motions on a denser brush. And we're just going to pat this all over the bottom half of the eye. And you really wanna do saturation of color from tear duct to the outside of the eye, but focusing on the bottom portion of your lid. And we're patting it on. You really wanna get this saturated. And I used a cream first because that has a tendency to really help out the color be a little bit more pigmented. Okay, and then once you get this area as pigmented as you want, which we basically are there, I am going to take another brush that has nothing on it and start to blend this out. I love this Makeup Forever brush, the way it's angled just fits really beautifully in the crease. And since this is a really great brush, I will link it in the description box for you guys. Beautiful. Love this type of eye. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to go back in with our Pretty Vulgar eyeliner, and I am going to do a little bit of liner 
And I'm going to take that blending brush again and just kind of smooth this out. Because we don't really want this to be a line. We just want this to be where the most concentration of color is. It's just around the lash line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other eye, some foundation, so we can move forward with the look. All right, you guys, so I am back. One side of my face is almost completely done, and I just wanted to share the rest of my face with you. Um, so to finish up the eye, I already put my concealer on, obviously, and everything else. Uh, this has nothing on it except for that liner that we did earlier. We are going to take the same cream shadow, the burnt kind of burgundy color, and we're going to pull this under the eye. And you want to meet up these outside corners. Pull it almost all the way in, but leaving a space for highlight. And don't be afraid to kind of pull this down. Then on a pencil brush, take the same black. Go right over that. Intensify this corner right here. All right, and then take your favorite highlighter. I'm just taking a Dior highlighter. And then I'm just gonna take it on a, actually a synthetic brush that's a flat brush, so I can really place this where I need it. And I'm going to really pack this on because I want this color to be a little bit more kind of lit. This would really be pretty with lashes, but to be honest with you, if I was wearing this out, I wouldn't necessarily wear them because it's just not always my jam. And then I'm going to take a bronzer and I am going to give the cheeks a real nice definition. So when you're doing an eye that's this dramatic, you kind of want to go in with your contour or bronzer and really give the cheeks some nice definition. Going in now with the highlighter, same highlighter you used for your eye. Oh, that Dior highlighter is bomb. And then now we're going to go in with a matte blush. This one is just by make uh, by Tarte, and it's Exposed, which is one of my favorite nude matte blushes. You don't want the cheeks to stand out too much, but you don't want them to not have any color. I'm going to hit this with a little bit of rehydrating spray. Um, and I did use the um, Wet n Wild foundation again, and I've actually really liked it the way that I prepped the skin without any kind of mattifying primer or anything like that. I think it looks really nice on the skin. We'll see how it wears, but um, yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. So the eyes are definitely giving you some serious like makeup and I love this. It's actually when I was a lot younger, I would wear my eyes like this quite a bit. But I find that sometimes, I'm just gonna make sure this is all even. Um, but I find that even at my age now and somebody that's older than me, if you really kind of go for it with the eyes, minimalistic lip, it can be really fun and it feels very like sexy and kind of empowering. I love it. So I find a lot of that empowerment in uh, makeup. All right, so now we are going to go in with a very nude and a very matte lip. Oh, I love this color. Oh, sorry, this one's by Pixie by Petra. You know I'm obsessed with their matte lipsticks. This is called uh, Matte Last in Matte Beige. It's not so nude that it's going to wash me out, but it is like a really great nude. And I did overdraw my lips a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a punch. So here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was something fun and different. And I hope you guys enjoyed the five days of love. Let me know if you have any other suggestions for maybe themes that I can do, like a themed week where I do these kind of videos back to back, uh, maybe once a month or once every other month because they do take quite a bit of work to get these done. But again, thank you guys so much for being here. I am just so appreciative and sending you guys so much love from me. And I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. What Ever you do and with whoever or without whoever if that's your choice 
is amazing. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys on the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, you guys.